Now you have the basic theoretical knowledge of document parser template editor tool. It's time to see this tool in action. In this video, we'll be going to learn how easy it is to extract only the data that you need by defining a template with just a couple of clicks. Now, as I said, document parser template editor tool offers a simple and intuitive parsing interface that allows you to build a template for extracting your vital data. So before we create our own template and go into the detail, let me show you one sample PDF file and see how easily you can extract out data using pre-made templates. Now let's open a sample PDF file by click on this button. And as its name implies, it is a template editor tool. Yes, template can be quickly created and updated without requiring any special technical knowledge. You can save templates in your local drive using which you can process another same kind of PDF documents. Well, this template file is nothing but a set of instruction created in YAML or JSON format. Now let me show you one sample template file and see how it looks like. All right, so as you can see here that this template file contains a metadata of the extraction region from which we want to extract the data from our PDF file. Now let's move on to our document parser tool. All right, now for this sample file, I have already defined the template. So let me load the template by clicking on this button. Let me select this file. Now, once the template file loaded, here you can see the different different extraction region I have defined to extract the data like contact person, business name, business address, or this whole table itself. So when you execute this template, you will also get this whole table's data. Now let's click on run template button to see our extracted data. All right, so in the grid tab, you can see our defined fields and its value like phone number and email. And you can also see the table data over here. See, it's extracted out all the table from the PDF. Currently, this tool support the output data in JSON and YAML and csv and you can also get this extracted data in plain text for that you need to click on this tab and here you can see our data as plain text you can also achieve the same thing using pdf.co cloud api it means you can connect document parser tool with other apps or your own apps also we will see that demo in a very few minutes now let's dive some deeper and create our own template. So for that, I have to open another sample PDF file. But before that, let us close this result. Let me open another PDF file. Now let us open this file. Now, as I said earlier that this tool is also able to auto detect some of the common fields like invoice number, invoice date, etc. So for that, let me click on detect object button. Here you can see the message five fields were detected and added to the template. Let me click on OK button. So as you can see here that some of the templates are automatically defined over here like date issued, invoice number, etc. Now before we go ahead, let's give the name of our template. You can set some template settings by clicking on this button. Like if you want to versioning your template, then you can set your template version in this text box. And then you can set your culture from this drop down as per your need. And if your PDF contains scan images, then you can set this OCR related settings from here. Now let's start defining our own template to create the template. All you need to do is define the areas within the PDF. You can define the areas either by manually selecting it like this, say this company address or by adding different different extraction object. Now, if we talk about the extraction object, then this tool provides us 
six different types of option using which we can extract out our data as per the requirement so first let us talk about this rectangle field when you select this option it will add one rectangle extraction region or object like this you can place it at particular location from which you want to extract out the data so in our case let me put on this build to location let me adjust it such that all data are covered and you can set this object related property over here and you can also test this individual object by clicking on this button and here we get our expected data now let us move ahead and the next object is rectangle table and when you select this option it will add object like this and you can adjust this object as per your need on the table say for example i want to extract out only these three rows from this table now once you set this object you can test this individual object by clicking on this test button so as you can see here that we will get our expected data this object will extract data based on coordinates now let me close this and move ahead another one is static value field say if you want to define some static value while extracting out the data then you can use this field say for example now let me add static value for currency so first let me give the name and then let me define the value and that's it and same way you can extract out particular grid cell value using this object then next important object is search based field now let me select this option this object scan the document and search for the text defined in this text box these tools allows macro based text extraction you can set the macro by this two button now say if i select this zip number which is of course a number now when i click on this auto detect macro button then as you can see here that this tool has automatically detected that hey this is the number pattern so i should use number macro now you can say this button is a kind of magical button it scans selected area and find first matching macros this tool uses a lot of macros say if you want to manually add the macros then you can do that by clicking on this insert macro button and here you can see the list of macros which have created for different different purposes macro is similar to a regular expression just instead of writing a complex regex pattern to detect something you can use this ready to use macros for example instead of using regular expression to detect this date you can use or you can select date macros from the list or just use this auto detect macro button which will automatically find matching macros for that area macros are the kind of powerful but easier replacement for regular expression now let's continue with our search based field object so this object selects only text that matches a given pattern with the option to include preceding or trailing text for example let's create a template for this total so as you can see that this word start with the total followed by colon and space and then there is a dollar and then there is a number so let us write the expression in this text box first we will write total followed by colon and space now let me add the macro for this dollar symbol and let me find for dollar and after dollar there is a number so let me add the macro for number and if i test this object then i will get the value like this so same way all these objects allow the templates to be flexible simple and powerful we can continue defining templates until we have selected all of the text which is important in the pdf to extract and once you are done you need to run the template through run template button so let's click on run template button
and here we have our extracted data like invoice number date issued company name our static value currency which is usd and our total and our extracted table data and same thing in json and same data in csv over here and as i said you can also achieve the same thing using pdf.co cloud api so first let me open the documentation of cloud api for some better understanding 